Ladies and gentlemen, the Phillips press conference is about to begin. Please take your seats. at the IFA. Doesn't it smell great here? So welcome also to the people that joined us uh, through the web webcast. It's great to be back in Berlin here at IFA, the Global Innovation Show. So Philips is one of the strongest brands in the world and it stands for over 120 years of innovation, of innovative solutions that make a difference in people's lives, in lifestyle, in healthcare and also in lighting. We have had an action-packed year. So we've continued to surprise people, with, to, to excite consumers with great Philips innovation. We've also sharpened our strategy in Philips Consumer Lifestyle, driving growth in areas like male grooming, oral health care, kitchen appliances and coffee, really capturing global trends in health and well-being. We've driven our leadership in sound and connected entertainment through great technology and award-winning design. And we created a strong television company, TP Vision, the joint venture between Philips and TPV. Despite a challenging economy, I continue to see great opportunities, great um, prospects in many areas for exciting brands, for innovative brands like Philips that are in intimate contact with consumers. Today, amongst others, I will share with you the latest innovations in sound and connected entertainment and I will then hand over to Martin de Vries, the CEO of TP Vision, to share with you the latest in Philips TVs. But before all of that, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. This man is a global icon, a chef, a campaigner that shares with us, that shares with Philips a mission and that is really to make fresh food at home available every day for everyone. It's been our great pleasure to team up with this man for the latest range of Philips tools in your kitchen. Amongst others, the home cooker that we will introduce here today. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me Mr. Jamie Oliver. Hi Jamie, great to have you here. Uh, 
please, Mr. Daniel Oliver. Hi, we're going to do some cooking. Yeah, so what can I do to help you? Right, pizza, over here, mate. We're going to do some cooking. Uh, obviously, I will, I will need an apron, probably. You will so, need an apron. Yeah. I don't use an apron. Uh, I do. Yeah. I've heard about your cooking, Peter. So, uh, <laughs> so you might need to be careful. Yeah. So, uh, what we've got here is the home cooker, guys. Um, what it basically is, is an extra pair, well, I, I sort of named it an extra pair of hands in the kitchen. Um, and um, you can't hear. No. Oh. Let me turn the mic up, guys. Oh, the mic. Let me turn it on for you. The microphone wasn't Philips, by the way, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry guys, I've got a loud voice, but not that loud, clearly. Um, this is the home cooker. So I, I've been able to work with Philips for the last year and a half, developing a whole new range of stuff from scratch, uh, and working on some innovation uh, in, in a ha handful of areas. The home cooker is basically like an extra pair of hands. So you have complete heat control, uh, it stirs for you, um, and when it's stopped its time, it will hold. Uh, you can steam, you can boil, simmer, braise, fry, uh, pot roast, uh, and you can also prep directly into it if you get the extra stuff. So try, we've yeah. got about seven, eight minutes to rattle out a beautiful dish. So <laughs> Peter, this is your time, my friend. This is your time. Um, so, so you want me to I, do, I, know, I, know you're, I know you're the boss, but now you need to do what you're told. And, uh, uh, yeah. So we're gonna go in with about three tablespoons um, of oil in there, ground oil, so if you can pour some oil into there. Okay. So this has been put onto to full whack, 250 degrees. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to go in. This is a southern Indian dish. So, George, darling, if you'd like to come around here, because that man's seeing oh, your lovely box. Yeah. Just around here, darling. That's it. <laughs> here we go. So we're gonna I'm be Peter and he's George. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I believe you are George, aren't you? Yes. Um, okay, we're going to do two heaped teaspoons of mustard seeds. Okay. Southern India, beautiful part of the world, very tropical. This is an Indian dish that starts and finishes in 10 minutes, right? So it's a wonderful layered flavoured dish that's exciting. We've got fenugreek seeds. We're going to have one uh, teaspoon going in there. Well, as I always uh, have them, yeah. Well, you can get all these spices from any supermarket. How many teaspoons? Uh, you can do two, actually. Okay. That's, you're, you're not that generous. So we'll have a look. That's it. Nice stuff. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to go turmeric. We're going to go two teaspoons of turmeric. Okay, this is getting exciting. So nice colour. Yep. And we've got some brown coriander here. So we've got layers of spices coming in. Now, how much of this? Uh, just uh, like one flat one. So this is curry leaves. George, just show that, big boy. Here we go. Okay, so curry leaves. You can get this in good supermarkets. You can get it online, or you can get it in the supermarkets dried. This transforms uh, curries. Uh, it's got a wonderful, savoury-like flavour that's absolutely gorgeous. It smells um, So what I'd like you to do, uh, Pete, if you could just chop some of that okay. coriander. The leaves, the leaves chunky, um, and and the stalk's fine. Is it okay? It's sort of, yes. Yeah. Um, um, so over here, this is an optional extra, guys. It's nice, extremely sharp, so. Yes, they're Jamie Oliver knives. <laughs> um, a little okay, tip. So that's okay. Yes, yeah. very good. Uh, we've got ginger here, guys. Very good for you, very fresh. A little tip. Uh, instead of like peeling with peelers and knives, literally just push away with um, a fork. You don't have to waste any, it's very, very simple. So ginger, very, very good for you. So we're gonna go in there with some ginger. Now, if you just take that little black piece off the top, yeah. um, the chuck there, uh, what we're gonna do is just peel this ginger. I've got some fragrant things here. I've got the ginger, about an inch of a large thumb-sized piece. Uh, then I'm gonna go in with um, some onions and some chili. Put as much chili as you like, I'm gonna go one. So we'll turn this in. The point of this is an optional extra. The point of this is that we can basically chuck straight into here. Yeah. Uh, and as we're cooking, you can see we're adding straight away. It goes straight into the cooking. Yes. So if you have a process already, it's not a problem. You don't have to get it. Yeah. If you haven't, you've got two uh, solutions answered in one here. Uh, and I've got some garlic here as well that I'll just crush in. So at this point in the story, we've built up a beautiful flavour. Um, what I want to do now is add the protein. Now, if you were, wanted chicken, you could have chicken. Um, we're going to go seafood. We're going to go yeah. some beautiful prawns. So I've got some nice um, medium-sized prawns here. And this recipe will start and finish in about nine minutes. So um, you can see we're turning now. George, if you just come around here, my darling. Um, what you'll notice, just have a little look at this. Sorry, Peter, by the way. 
Let me explain the point of this. We have complete control of temperature. It's stirring. When, when it, you can put a timer on, and when it stops its time, it will hold. Yes, you can boil, steam, etc., etc. For me, I think I use this, and I would find a use for this in different ways than other people. Yes, this is incredibly convenient. You can do a whole meal in one. You can have proteins, vegetables, uh, uh, and you know, stews and sauces yeah. going on in the same place. For me, as a chef, obviously, I don't really need, I don't really use gadgets the same as regular people because I think I'm fast. But you said it's um, really changed your Saturday evenings. It, it had. Yeah. I, when I was developing this with Phillips, um, what can this do for me? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it does for me. At five o'clock to seven o'clock in my house every night, uh, and it's more so the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, my house is like a war zone. Okay, I have four kids. I have a, a two-year-old, a three-year-old, a nine and a ten-year-old. Yeah. So it's bath time, bottles, stories. Now, because of the way our day works, you know, I'm on, on Saturday the weekend, I'm making curries, I'm making stews, I'm making sauces, I'm, you know, there's all these things. All of these dishes become incredible in flavour when you invest in the base. Yeah. Now, I, I, I was trying to juggle all these kids and stuff, so if I was going to do a curry, you know, I'm building it up like this, if I'm doing a French onion soup and you want a caramelised yeah. onion, throw it in, timer, leave it, gone. And it doesn't burn. Nothing so, yeah. can go wrong. Yeah. Nothing. So let's finish this dish. We've got these, can you smell those flavours? Oh, it's really gorgeous. So we go in yeah. with the prawns now, yeah. and some coconut milk. Um, can, if you can put some of that coriander. Yeah. Okay, all of it? Or yep. Yeah. And pretty much as soon as that cut oh, not all of it, no, I, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Why, I love Coriander. Yeah, no, yeah, man. <laughs> we well, all bloody do now. Um, um, that was my fault, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fast. It feels we are fast, so.